joined the first meeting between Israeli and Palestinian leaders in nearly a year, a meeting that even nine months ago did not seem possible. And we were but in tough times, when many families are having trouble just making it all work, tax day can seem even more daunting. The Republican leaders in Congress don't seem to have learned any lessons from the past few years. Unfortunately, too many Republicans in Congress don't seem to share that same sense of urgency. If you're opening a bank account, trying to get a student loan, or applying for a credit card, and something doesn't seem right, you can let them know and they'll check it out. A lot of Republicans seem to believe that if they can gum up the works and make this law fail, they'll somehow be sticking it to me. Now, the Republicans in Congress seem to have very different priorities. But while payday loans might seem like easy money, folks often end up trapped in a cycle of certain requirements differ from uh, in our two countries, I think we have to work towards the harmonization of these requirements. So these practical matters that seem to be minor are actually quite important. And frankly, when you're trying to navigate your way through this economy, you shouldn't feel like you're getting ripped off by any time, any reason, rate hikes and payment deadlines that seem to move around every month. So for all our technological and scientific advances, we see here in this country and around the globe violence and want and strife that would seem sadly familiar to those in ancient times. We know it can seem overwhelming. I know this future can seem distant. I'd like to know, is there any possibility that you might turn this around, that we not, might not have any limit well, on visas. Well, the, the, uh, uh, I'll, I'll just address uh, the first two questions that seem to apply to the United States. Uh, but as the VFW well knows, for so many veterans, the war rages on. The flashbacks that won't go away, the loved ones who now seem like strangers, the heavy darkness of depression that has led to too many of our troops taking their own lives. Post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injury. We seem stuck with a choice between what cuts to our bottom line and what harms us as a society. Which there will be those who engage in revisionist history or have selective memories and don't seem to recall. I have to say that some folks seem to have forgotten just how bad things were when I took office.